Have you liked and subscribed yet? Good. This is the only time you're gonna see me flying solo. I'm flying solo on a bike. <sighs> yeah, it's not even hard, and I don't even know why I'm panting already. I'm just gonna turn up the, the knob so I get a bit of resistance in the bike. So, I wanna talk about the Peloton bike. So I got the Peloton bike a couple of weeks ago, before all of the coronavirus kicked off here in the UK. And the reason why I wanted to get a bike is because I wanted to get fit. I wanted to do something in order to get my fitness up. Yes, I'm doing the couch to 5K, but I wanted something at home. So I was looking around and researching various different bikes, came across the Peloton bike. <sighs> Lots of people have been recommending it. And the one thing I can say is it's a really good bike. It's silent, as you can hear. It's a really good, sturdy bike. The only downside for me as a totally blind person, the screen just isn't accessible to me. So every time I want to use it, in order to start a ride, the scenic ride at the moment, I'm doing a 10 minute ride around New Zealand. So for those of you who can see, you can see how beautiful it is. So let me know in the comments below what you're actually seeing. But in order for me to start any of that, I have to use Be My Eyes app, which now allows me to navigate the screen by them actually sightedly guiding my finger to the various parts of the screen. Now this could be made accessible, Peloton, if you only turned on the API through the Android, because uh, it's an Android system. So I just think it, it's a shame because it's such an amazing bike and I would recommend it if only it had the accessibility features turned on. Now Peloton, if you could do this, then I would give it a totally 10 out of 10 thumbs up from me. But at the moment, I wouldn't recommend anyone going out and spending nearly two grand on the bike because it doesn't, doesn't have all the features that I can use as a blind person. In my studio, Studio of Stevenage, as you can see, because I've got cameras one, two, and three, and some soft lighting to light up my face. You'll be able to see it a lot more clearly. So, I want to turn up the resistance, actually, because it feels a bit easy to me. And I want to make sure I have a good workout at the same time as trying to speak to you lovely guys. <sighs> okay, let's go on to some things of why it's good to keep fit and especially in these times of social distancing and leisure centers and gyms being closed down for the foreseeable future it's really important for for mental health first things first everybody needs to maintain mindfulness fitness is great for for your physical physique but actually it's just as important to exercise your mind and there's ways that you can keep fit and by the way, it's not a sponsored video. Peloton is not sponsoring me for this video. So I just want to say that, but there are ways you can. You don't have to go out there and spend loads of money on a Peloton bike. I'm not advocating anyone do that. But you could get any range of, of bike and actually do that. Just sit here, cycle away, listen to some music, maybe catch something on Netflix. <sighs> God, I'm sorry, I'm panting like a train. Um, but also, you can actually download stuff on YouTube. When I say you can do it on YouTube, you're gonna have to access it on your iPhone oh, or your iPad, because actually it's not accessible on the screen itself. So that's another thing you're gonna have to take into consideration. The subscription model is 39 pounds a month, $39 US, which equates to 31 pounds UK. At the moment, we've got a month three free, which is actually pretty awesome. So I'm debating whether to carry on that once my free month has finished. But, I mean, it has its benefits. Don't get me wrong, it has its benefits. Although I can't see the pretty scenic tours, for those people who can see, it might actually spur you on to do something. And let's talk about what you get in that package. You'll find out what your metrics are, so it can spur you on to do a bit more so you can find out the distance in which you've traveled, how many calories you've burned. For those people who are really counting their calories, you can look at that. You can do various other things on the app, like you can download classes, even watch them live actually. 
So for those people who can see, I think there are so many benefits. Is it worth the money? Well, that depends on what you're really looking for in a bike. I'm looking for accessibility and unfortunately Peloton has failed on that front. The bike itself is brilliant built. It's really sturdy, it's silent, which means you can get up at 3 a.m. in the morning if you're so inclined to do workout before you go to work. Let's talk about what's on screen. However fast you go, it's gonna go at the same rate. So let's crank it up a bit. Let's do a bit more resistance. Oh, and I feel a bit more out of puff. Exercise is great. And afterwards, to be honest, I feel fantastic. But it's really important to kick yourself to do it because you can do it. It's willpower. Come on. Let's go, spur me on guys. What are you doing in this whole crisis of the coronavirus? How are you staying fit? What are you doing? Have you joined any online groups of support? Any YouTube groups? Are you watching any particular sporting or exercising videos? Let me know in the comments below. But what would you like to see on this channel next? What would you like to see me discuss? Put it in the comments below. As you can see on the screen, the scenery stopped. So that means I can cheer and celebrate. My ride is over, so I can just slowly come to it. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. And seriously, if you want to see anything else on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and just comment below of uh, what you're doing at the moment to stay fit. Catch you soon. I'm off for a cuppa.